Hello and a very warm welcome to today's contemporary piano soundbite. And today we've a piece written under lockdown by the composer Richard Francis, a great friend of mine, and I've made two CDs of his piano music, so uh, we've had a long-standing association. He was organist for many years of St Lawrence's Parish Church, the great parish church in the Shropshire town of Ludlow, with its many musical and artistic associations. It was a place I went often when I was a child, and I first met Richard briefly at the age of seven or eight, although we didn't know then that we were going to work together extensively later on. I've been very privileged that Richard has written quite a few pieces for me now, and it's always a joy to play them and great to have the chance to see him and get together with Richard and his wife Barbara as well. They're in lockdown at the moment at their beautiful home in the Shropshire countryside in Corvedale, and Richard has written me a rather fabulous piece which is very moving and very dramatic. Richard Francis was born in Hereford, he grew up in Ludlow, and he went to the Birmingham School of Music where he studied organ, piano and composition. He went on to the University College of North Wales in Bangor, where he was a student of that legendary composer and great 20th century musical figure William Mathias. And Richard also played a big role in the musical life of, Breck, of um, Bangor Cathedral. And uh, he then returned to Ludlow, where he was organist of the parish church for 30 years and also director of music at Moor Park School nearby. He's developed at the same time a distinguished profile as a composer, particularly well known um, across the world for his organ and choral music. Uh, much of it published and quite a few discs of his organ music, including a wonderful two CD set of his organ music played on the organ of Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral. But there's a good bit of piano music as well, and I've been uh, privileged to premiere and play a lot of it. And there's a new disc just out of me doing the second sonata, which he wrote for me some years ago. And it's a very fine and big boned piece. From their lockdown retreat and uh, studio hideaway, um, Richard has uh, composed for me a piece he's called Dirge for Our Troubled Times. But he's very keen to point out that he's meaning dirge entirely in the proper original sense of the word. That is a, a, a lament, a song of mourning for the dead, often with the character of something of the character of a funeral march, and you can discern that here. But like Richard, there's a lot of positivity about it as well. Um, none of the meanings attached to the, the modern usage, the colloquial usage of the word dirge, to mean something boring. Nothing boring about this, thank you very much. It um, is, is, is a piece that has a lot of darkness and a lot of um, ruminative um, uh, introspective thinking, but at the same time it's very much transcended with a wonderfully triumphant, um, heroic aspect to it and a lot of interesting rhythms. That's very characteristic of Richard's music as well. So here is the world premiere of Richard Francis's new piece, Dirge for Our Troubled Time.
The dramatic musings of Richard Francis, his dirge for our troubled times. Take care, stay well, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Contemporary Piano Soundbite. Bye-bye.